are a few things that uh, today are being done. Uh, since uh, COVID uh, has started, <laughs> actually more, the good, the good thing about COVID is that more and more people with MS, and not only with MS, started to use everyday technology for different things. So we see an increase in everyday technology use, which brought uh, to administer a lot of treatments related to MS that you don't have to be hands-on with technology. So just an example, I didn't publish it yet, but I just did a study all via Zoom where I administer a cognitive rehabilitation a training for patients and they didn't have to come to my office. They really just had to following, you know, to meet with me via Zoom and we did everything by me sharing my screen with them and they responding to, to that. So I think we will see more and more interventions that are considered to be tele-rehab, uh, which I think is great because uh, like this we can access people uh, around the world, also people who cannot come to the clinic for this way, for this reason or another. The barrier with this is, again, to reach people who, even with the pandemic, even with uh, more uh, technology use, are still cannot access for different reasons, financial and also cognitive or motor, cannot really access um, the, this internet. So uh, we definitely more and more use uh, modalities related to uh, everyday technology in both treatment and assessment, as I said, like we have a lot of, so the assessment I described before, the actual reality is only done online. And, uh, but there are also like traditional assessments that were used uh, today, you know, all the years, and they were pen and paper type of assessment that moved to be also um, online, which again uh, is easier because we can, you know, people from different places can access this, um, these things. And uh, I think that uh, today rehabilitation should move into more and more utilizing these tools to help patients with MS first feel more uh, secure about their ability to use technology because a lot of them actually uh, speak about their in that they're not confident enough to use uh, everyday technology. So I think we should move into helping them uh, understand that they can use it by teaching them and let them uh, also experience technology. Because once you experience technology, you see that it's not as, uh, uh, as uh, hard as you thought it would be. And I think it should be used more, therefore, in treatment and assessment.